Hello, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, class? Good evening, teacher. Sorry? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, give me a second. Okay, I'm happy to see you. Mariano, everything is okay with your camera, Mariano? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. Thank you, thank you, Mariana. No, okay, so to begin, we're going to start with an exercise and I'll wait for the rest to, to attend the class, right? Okay, and then I will, I will um, pass the attendance, right? So we're going to see an exercise before to start. Okay, this is a listening situation, right? It's a listening exercise, I mean. Thought situations, you know? Situations that are very hard, difficult. Mm -hmm. Thought situations. Listen to three people talk about predicaments, problems, you know? Check which predicament they are talking about. So in other words, uh, we are going to see some predicaments, not not all, right? Number one, Chris has relationship problems. Number two, Chris is addicted to the internet. That's number one, right? Number two, sorry. Carrie spent all her money in Europe. Carrie lost, lost all her money in Europe. And Zoe saw her classmates cheating. You know, copiando, right? Cheating. Zoe doesn't understand her math class. So what is the correct predicament? We're going to check, right? Well, but first, of course, we're going to listen. To Pay attention, please. Here we go. Page 101. Exercise four. Listening. Tough situations. Part. Sorry, excuse me. I mean, I may stay here. Okay. Here we are. Page 100. You know, I'm really worried about Chris. Why? Well, this may sound silly, but he spends too much time on the internet. I think he might be addicted to it. Really? Why do you think so? He went to the movies yesterday, and during the whole movie, he was on his phone. He couldn't even take a two-hour break to watch this movie he's wanted to see. Then I suggested we go to the mountains this weekend for a hike, and he said no. He said if he didn't have Wi-Fi service in the mountains, he wouldn't go. Wow, that is pretty bad. We all need time away from technology. So what would you do if you were in my position? Would you say something to him? I wouldn't tell him he has a problem. He wouldn't like that. I would continue to suggest activities that don't involve the internet. You can't say no forever. Oh, I would be honest and tell him what I think. He will make excuses until you're direct with him. It's a problem that could affect his relationships with other people and he needs to know that. Two. I just got an email from my friend Carrie. She lost all her money on vacation in Europe. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's terrible. Blake, what would you do if you were on vacation overseas and you lost all your money and credit cards? I guess I'd call my parents and ask them to send me some money right away. What about you, Zoe? Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. Though I guess I'd probably sell my watch and camera. Or I might get a job as a waitress somewhere till I made enough money to buy a plane ticket home. Three. You know, something happened to me this morning and I don't know what I should do. What happened? Well, I was taking a test in math and I saw two classmates cheating in front of me. How were they cheating? Well, I heard some noise. So I looked over there and they both were looking at their arms. Their arms had writing all over them. Oh, so they wrote the answers on their arms? Yeah. And then after class, they were laughing and talking all about it. 
What would you do if you saw two people cheating on a test? If I were in your position, I would talk to the teacher. I would tell him what you saw and ask him not to say that you told him. It's not fair if they get a good grade and they didn't spend any time studying like you did. I wouldn't get involved. I would pretend I didn't see anything. It's not your business, and sooner or later they'll get caught. That's it. So, predicament number one. Chris has a relationship problems. Has relationship problems, sorry. Chris is addicted to the internet. What is the, the predicament? Chris is addicted to the internet. Good, that's it, right? Page now listen again. Exercise four, thing about. One, you know, I'm really worried about Chris. Why? Well, this may sound silly, but he spends too much time on the internet. I think he might be addicted to it. Really? Why do you think so? We went to the movies yesterday, and during the whole movie, he was on his phone. He couldn't even take a two-hour break to watch this movie he's wanted to see. Then I suggested we go to the mountains this weekend for a hike, and he said no. He said if he didn't have Wi-Fi service in the mountains, he wouldn't go. Wow, that is pretty bad. We all need time away from technology. So what would you do if you were in my position? Would you say something to him? I wouldn't tell him he has a problem. He wouldn't like that. I would continue to suggest activities that don't involve the internet. He can't say no forever. Oh, I would be honest and tell him what I think. He will make excuses until you're direct with him. It's a problem that could affect his relationships with other people and he needs to know that. That's it, right? So Chris is addicted to the, to the internet. I just got an email from my... Addicted to internet, right? We are addicted to internet just in this class, right? Okay, no problem with that. But if you're addicted to internet while you're eating at your table or with your friends or with your family, please don't do it. Internet could be addicted, right? Okay, good. The only thing I like is to send memes, but <laughs> not every day, right? You know, from time to time is... Okay, but the problem or predicament Chris has, like Aminda says, is addicted to internet. You must be addicted to English, right? No, not only to internet, right? Good. Now, next one. Kari spent all her money in Europe or Kari lost all her money in Europe? What is the correct predicament? Kari lost. She lost her money, right? All her money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So listen. I would continue to suggest activities that don't involve oh. the internet. Oh. He can't say no forever. Oh, I would be honest and tell him what I think. Okay, wait. He will make excuses until you're direct with him. It's a problem that could affect his relationships with other people, and he needs to know that. Okay, number two. two. I just got an email from my friend Carrie. She lost all her money on vacation in Europe. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's terrible. Blake, what would you do if you were on vacation overseas and you lost all your money and credit cards? I guess I'd call my parents and ask them to send me some money right away. What about you, Zoe? Yeah, I'd probably do the same thing. Though I guess I'd probably sell my watch and camera. Or I might get a job as a waitress somewhere till I made enough money to buy a plane ticket home. Okay, that's it, right? And the last one. Soy saw her classmates cheating, or Soy doesn't understand her math class. So I saw her classmates cheating. Yes, saw her classmates cheating, right? Thank God in this class, nobody cheats, right? You are very honest. Nice. Congratulations. When you make this, you are honest, right? Okay. Now, listen again for the last time, right? And let's see what's uh, the problem with the lyrics or with the caption here, right? Three. You know, something happened to me this morning and I don't know what I should do. What happened? Well, I was taking a test in math and I saw two classmates cheating in front of me. How were they cheating? Well, I heard some noise. So I looked over there and they both were looking at their arms. 
Their arms had writing all over them. Oh, so they wrote the answers on their arms? Yeah. And then after class, they were laughing and talking all about it. What would you do if you saw two people cheating on a test? If I were in your position, I would talk to the teacher. I would tell him what you saw and ask him not to say that you told him. It's not fair if they get a good grade and they didn't spend any time studying like you did. I wouldn't get involved. I would pretend I didn't see anything. It's not your business, and sooner or later they'll get caught. Okie dokie. So that's it, right? Now, uh, let's take, let, let me take the attendance. Please turn your cameras on, please. Trini. Present. Good. Thank you, Trini. Aminda. Present. Ana Maria. Carlos William. Claudia Guadalupe. Okay, thank you. Domingo. Present. Ever de Jesus. Present. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Ever. Okay. Jose Roberto. Present teacher. Hey, hello. Carla Benazir. Carla Vanessa. Leticia Guadalupe. Mariano. Present teacher. Good. Oscar. Present. Thank you. Rosemary. Present teacher. Good. Welcome. And Rosibel. Present teacher. Sonia Ibeth. Present. Vanessa Noemi. Vanessa. Walter. Present Walter okay. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Wendy. Present. Chamba. Debbie. Present, mister, sorry. Uh, Chamba, okay, thank you, Chamba. Yes, mister. Yes. Okay. Debbie. Eddie? No. Okay. Jorge Alfredo? Okay. Good. Um, I want to tell you something about uh, the, the platform, right? Uh, I was checking today. Well, well, well I was checking uh, the, the platform. Leticia was making the, the turn, the mid midterm test, right? So it was interesting because she got 100. She got a 10, you know, congratulations to Leticia, right? But uh, it caught my attention, caught my eye that some of you didn't complete some exercises. Sorry to tell the names, right? It doesn't mean that you're not working. Maybe you have some problems in the platform, but I want to, to talk to you and tell you, right? So um, some of these students are Ana Maria Palacios, uh, Rosemary, uh, Chamba, that's it, right? So I need you go to the platform, please, and complete all the exercises, right? And let me see. Um, I found another situation with, I guess that's it, right? Okay. And Jorge, Jorge Alfredo is not here yet, right? Okay, good. So please help me with this situation. And Carla, Carla Benazir, okay. Yes, Carla is there. Listener, right, Carla? Okay. Good. I hope you, uh, Carla and... And Claudia Guadalupe, I hope someday you join the class with us, right? Yes, I want, we talk, we speak together, right? Like that, you know? Okay, but at least you're a listener, at least you're listening to the class, that is something, right? And I want to say congratulations to Claudia Guadalupe that you complete the platform. And Carla Benazir, let me see. 
Yes, the midterm. And the unit two, Carla. Okay, try to complete the platform, right? The you have half of the unit two, right? Solo miso hasta la mitad, Carla. Y el midterm no lo ha hecho todavía, ¿verdad? Así que porfa, please. Good. Now let's start with the class. I will make the okay. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I I read your message, Carla. Thank you, thank you. I know you're really responsible. Yes, thank you. Good. Now let's start with the presentation for today. Today I have a new discussion. You you love this discussion. Okay, let me see. Just give me a second here. Yes, okay. Oops, sorry. Here, yeah, right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Inglés Corporativo and the teacher Javier Gomez say welcome to this class. The, today's class is basis on branding. So we're going to learn about branding. I repeat, it's not a beverage. No, it's not brandy, <laughs> it's branding, right? Don't get confused, don't be happy, right? It's related to brands. And today is July the 14th, July the 14th, 2022, right? So, uh, manners, ah, yes, manner, right? Yes, uh, it's the second part of the topic, yes? So why are manners important, uh, Chamba? Why are manners important? Mister, mm -hmm. what is the meaning of manners? Manners is uh, the way you behave uh, in a cultural form in front of people. For example, when you say hello, when you say excuse me, when you say please, when you don't make noise when you're eating, right? When you don't burp in front of people or when you don't... <laughs> don't spit, when you don't chew gum nom, 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 in front of people, when you don't uh, answer your cell phone and you speak loudly, ah, sí, bueno, mira, yo no, no, okay. So, so those are manners. We have good manners and bad manners, right, Chamba? Good manner, okay. for example, we say hello. Hello, Chamba, how are you, you know? And bad manner is, hello, teacher, and the teacher, hmm. okay? So that's a, a bad manner, you know? So. Do you think manners are important, Chamba? Yes or no? Yes, mister. It's, it's important for the relationship with uh -huh. the other, the other co-workers or family members because you need polite. You need to be polite, totally right. Be polite. Hey, uh, listen, I like this idea, uh, Chamba to have good relationships, right? If right. you want to have good relationship with people, use your manner, right? Because you don't believe right. the, uh -huh, the effect, right, Chamba, that uh, a smile or a hello causing people, right? Yes, it's extraordinary, right? Those are magic words, magic behavior, right? Thank you, Chamba. And- You're welcome, Mr. Good. good. Uh, Wendy, please, uh, when you're driving, do you honk your horn to people when you drive? No. Beep, beep. Never do that. Yes. Not really. I think that is not necessary. It's not because, right. Because no, it's not. It's not necessary, really. Okay. You know, when you're in a stop, for example, when you're in the red light, right? Sometimes people uh, sleep, right? And then when the it turns <laughs> red, it turns green. You're waiting. You know. Mm. Okay, uh, one of the solution that, that I do uh, make, right, is to, to hone my alarm. That is only beep, beep, okay. Oh, and the yeah. person's, okay, maybe, but beep. No, right, it's not necessary. Like when they says, right? It's a bad manner to do that. It's like bad okay. manner, especially when, when a person is driving slow, right? And you are in a, in a, in a hurry. Come on, everybody has the time, right? And some people say yes. beep, 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 right? <laughs> it's a characteristic Salvador. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks. Good. Thank you, Wendy. Now, uh, Walter, 
do people have more manners now or earlier in earlier times what do you think what yes i think is 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 affirmative uh the whole family is training more polite today uh, today or in the past today that today. today 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 i more contaminate with <clears throat> with phone internet and all our children are um don't thinking about manners or or respect other people uh so in other words sorry if i can uh, if i don't understand very well but you're telling me that today we have uh more bad manners and in the past they have they have more good manners that's it yeah oh, okay yeah so, that's it. so in other words in the past it was better right for grandpa yes in the past was better okay yeah and sorry i i i like to repeat this because it's in el salvador it's, this is true well at least the, that's the experience i have right that every time i go to the country people always say hello, right? And when they are, you're visiting there, they say, do, do you want something? Do you, have, do you want mangoes, coconuts, sopa de gallina? Do you want something? People are very kind. They have good manners in the country. Mm -hmm. And in the city, maybe because we're, we're under, under stress, right? So sometimes we, we didn't even say yes. hello. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, depend, depend on the culture. When you are uh, here, here, in El Salvador uh, is very common uh, that people know are friendly. Yes. And, and what about your education? Sorry to ask you, Walter. Uh, what did your parents taught you? Taught you is the past tense of teach, right? What did your parents taught you? No problem. Uh, my father always uh, teach me respect uh, all, all people. Nice. Me. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you very much. Now, let me see. Uh, Sonia, Sonia Beth, what is the best way to teach manners to children? Now well, we're talking to Walter that his father uh, taught him very well. But now today, especially because some of you say that uh, the children are watching too much TV or too much uh, tablet or too much internet in general, right? So what is the best way, in your opinion, uh, to teach manners to children? Especially that you are a mother, right, Sonia Beth? Sonia Beth? Okay, so Rosibel. Can you help me, Rosibel? Yes, teacher. Do you, do you have, sorry to ask you, right? It's a personal question, but do you have children? Not teacher. No, no, but uh, well, in the future maybe. That's it. So, but in your opinion, well, I am a teacher. I I like to teach my student, but with children is different, right? So, what is your opinion, Rosibel? What is the best way to teach manners? Uh, at the beginnings, uh, when the ch ch child children uh, grow. Mm -hmm. uh, the principal way is um, um, uh, uh, learn manners in at home. Okay, uh, nice. Also, yes. also not only at home with the family, we also uh, need to uh, cultivate the cultivate or or learn about the the guy because he inspire a, another level with, within the life for com, com, for for share share the life uh, nice. for me the, the both the both is is but are important in the world the children for during the during the life uh, uh, can be 
good manner. Okay. I like your idea. Yes, it's true, right? It's true. And other way to teach children is show the example, right? Uh, I remember my grandmother yeah. say that uh, you you know you must not be a, a cuche. <laughs> este como que es cuche, no saludes. <laughs> I remember they say that, right? So, mm -hmm. so uh -huh. well, in my case, I I teach my children, well, my adolescent. Okay, um, to say hello all the time, you know, just, no matter if the person uh, answer your your greeting, right? Because some people don't don't answer. You say good morning, and they don't say anything. It doesn't matter. So you have to say good morning and or good afternoon, and that's it. That's the, that's the way you have. To, it has to be right. Or to thank everybody when when you receive a favor, right? Thank you. Even a glass of water, even a candy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. That's the best way to to, uh, to teach children. Right. Good. And I forgot this question. Can manners affect your success in life? This question is for thank you, Rosemary. Uh, this 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 question is for Rosemary. Rosemary, can 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 you help? What is your opinion about what question, teacher? This this is the one. Look, can manners affect your success in life? Exito, right in your life? Yes or no? How? I think affect because it's the perception of the other people about the way that you act in life, uh, the manners, um, maybe be the way that you can show the kind of person that you are. And for example, when you are in work, I think uh, that affect a lot because not all the people has the same uh, manners and if you have better manners with another people you can I don't know show you more value for your company I guess yes okay I like I like that idea listen I like this uh, the way uh, you show your manners right is the way you're going to show the people who you are right uh-huh that's nice and in companies, especially in your company, right? If you're you're polite with everybody, your boss is going to watch that, right? Okay, and going to he's going to say, or she's going to say, if the boss is a is a woman, right? My goodness, this guy is he's educated, he has good manners, so he can be a good boss, or he can get a raise, you know, more money in your salary. <laughs> Who knows, right? Or maybe if, if you work in business, those who work in business, you know that it's really important to, to be, to have good manner, right? Okay, nice. Thank you very much, uh, Rosemary. Uh, Oscar, next question is, um, what culture do you think is the most polite in the world? Oscar? Okay, Mariano, please. In your opinion, Mariano, what, what culture is the most polite? Uh, for me, it is sure an European culture. European. But European uh, culture. Uh, Spanish, yeah. uh, French. In specific, I, I don't know. But, um, and English? English, people from, from England. Yes, England. Okay. Culture. Yeah, they, they kind of, know that. Mariano, they're kind of cool, right? They don't like to talk too much or say hello too much, but of course they are really educated, yes. They, yes, they, they, right. And they respect yeah. a lot the opinion of the other, right? Yes. And Asian culture t-shirt it, it's uh -huh. but what which one for the Singapore, China, Vietnam, uh, uh, Japan, Chinese, Chinese and Japanese culture. Okay, I agree. Yes. Uh, for example, beginning with the way they, they say hello, right? They give a yes, bow. in the the old person is uh uh, have a, have a respect for the Jones. Nice. Listen, I know a story, right? 
Uh, it was an English teacher that went to Japan, right? And he was teaching yeah. some basic students, you know, and then uh, after the class, he asked the, the, the students, did you understand the class? And everybody said, okay, yes, right? Everybody said, yes, right? Okay, and he, he continued. At the end of the course, he made a test and everybody got wrong in the test. Everybody had bad grades, you know? So uh, he was talking to the coordinator. He says, I don't understand. Every class I said, I told my student, do you understand? And they said, yes. So, but at the end I made a test and they got bad grades. And the coordinator told her, it's because Japanese students are taught never say no to a teacher. Okay. <laughs> so imagine. For respect. It's to show respect. You never say no to a teacher. Can you imagine? <laughs> they respect the authority, right? Even they use the word san. Uh, for example, I say Walter San is to show respect. Yes. Right? Yes. And they, they show to the to the teachers, to the managers, to the to the parents, etc. Sensei, right? Sensei. Okay. Yes. So it's, it's, Japanese are, you know, some of the best. And Chinese too, right? Thank you, Mariano. Thank you very much. Great to share. Now uh, let me see. Um, Jose Roberto. Hello, Jose Roberto. Are you there? Okay. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, Jose Roberto. Listen, this is the next question, right? What advice would you give a, a foreigner, uh, un extranjero, right? A foreigner visiting El Salvador, right? Who would like to show good manners? How to show good manners in El Salvador if, if a person from Canada, United States, Colombia, uh, any other country, right? Come to El Salvador. What advice? ¿Qué consejo le daría? What advice, José Roberto? Uh, problem with the microphone? Uh -huh. I recommend. Uh -huh. uh, with the internet teacher, I'm driving. Uh, uh, I I know, but now I can listen. Continue, continue. Okay. Um, I think um, I recommend uh, uh, places, a lot of um, uh, uh, restaurants, maybe in in uh, out of um, of out of the city or, or San Salvador. Uh huh. Very good. But what about manners? For example, we Salvadorians have good manners, right? Well, some. <laughs> yes. But what would you recommend to a to a foreigner person, what is not recommendable or recommendable about uh, good manners? For example, how, how to read, how to eat, how to behave in the bus, how to behave on the streets. Uh, the bus? The, uh, uh, maybe, um, maybe uh, ask if, they need uh, uh, help about a uh, uh, direction and offer uh, uh, ofrecer llevarlos. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. Good. And you mean that we Salvadorian, when foreign, foreigners ask for directions, we immediately, right, give directions? Uh, yes. Yeah, right. Okay, good. So that's, that's it. I have seen many Salvadorian when, when a foreign person say, excuse me, what is this? So we, we are very kind in that way, right? Salvadorian, we are kind. So tell, tell the foreigner people, don't be afraid to ask. All Salvadorian, all we help. And in some cases, I have seen some Salvadorians taking the person to the place, right? Yes. So in that way, we have good manners. Salvador, have good manners in that way to help foreigner people, right? Thank you, Jose Roberto. Okay, and then I have, um, let me see, Ever, please. 
Ever, um, is there anything about manners in the United States that you prefer to manners in El Salvador? What is best in the United States that is not good in El Salvador, for example, right? Ever? The pay. Repeat? The pay, the pay of the companies. <laughs> ah, the salary. Oh, come the on. The salary. Yeah, but yeah I know, yeah. but of course, the United States is That's, uh, the, a, a, a gigantic manner, country, but I mean it's about good manners or bad manners. Yeah, what is the I don't know. I I don't know because I I don't you, know. You don't know the, the culture of the United yeah. States. Yes. Yes. Listen, for example, about littering. What do you think is different from El, uh, from El Salvador and United States? Littering, tirar basura. Do you know we have differences in good and bad manners about that? Teacher, excuse me. Yes, it, it, is, it is cultural. It's cultural, more right? uh, okay. manner. Good, I agree with you. And and, ever? And, uh, I'm sorry, continue, Domingo. Uh -huh. That's it? Okay, Evan. Now, what is your opinion? I know you don't know, the, neither do I, right? I don't, I don't know the United States culture very much, but in the movies or, or when I see the street, for example, right? Or the laws with the police. Yes, the, the it's it dependent that the, it is dependent that the, the TV show, you know, uh, because in one documentary, uh, I remember that uh, in this, I can see uh, the other side of the LA, the Los Angeles, no? uh, mm -hmm. in one part, the one side of the other part, and across the, the street, they show you uh, the, the way most uh, kind or, most, or, more, or most polite, the most beautiful. And the other cross, uh, the other side to the to the street, Los Angeles, huh? you, yes, you can find uh, a lot of trash, a lot of uh, uh, different people for the uh, I don't know, but different it is 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 different for the point that uh, they uh, need to show you uh, on the on the other zone, and in our in our case is the same, no, uh, you can find. A lot of uh, towns are beautiful. A lot of towns are on the country. Yes. But there are other places that are not very beautiful, like the community, right? Yes. Yeah. I know a lot of communities in El Salvador, like 22 de Abril, La Chacra, okay, um, eh, Colonia Escalón. In Colonia Escalón, we have some community, right? Yes. And in those yes. places, the good manners or the culture is not very good, right? As far as I know. Uh, and ever, have you heard this? I don't know, but that's, that's my, my point of view, right? Have you heard that uh, people of color, you know, are less educated than other, than other people? What do you think? No. In the United States, I'm talking to you. I think, mm. I think uh, right. um, for the different, for the different people, uh, you can find everything. I think that the the community, the the Latin, the Latin community, is the is the most uh, manners in the United States because it's most polite, most uh, a kind of the other people know. And the native uh, gringo, como uh -huh, we'll say I it. think is 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 more is most cold more, uh, to the other. Uh, uh, to the other people now. Okay. Just give me a second. Something happened. Sorry, Evan. Okay, good. Yes. Uh, we all other thing that is that we cannot make general opinion with because not everybody is the same, right? For example, some people think that in El Salvador everybody is a gang, right? They, all, all the Salvadoran wear gangs, but it's not true. So and the same happening with other cultures. And in the United States, of course, there are good people and bad people too. Good manners and bad manners, right? Okay, thank you, Evan. No, yeah, no, 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 yeah, the government they are in the jail, no. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Evan. Now, uh, Aminda, please. When you walk, Aminda, 
what side should you be on? Um, when I work, when I think walk. it, yes, I think in the, piat, uh, how do you say peaton? Pedestrian. Pedestrian song. I know, but uh, you walk on, on your right or on your left side? Mm, I think the, the, right, the right, right side, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think it's not good to walk on the left side, especially in subbridge, you know, pasarelas, or, or when you're in commercial center? Do you think it's, it's a good manner to walk on the on the left side, or or no? It's not important. What do you think? Um, I think if when when you walk in, into the mall. Mm -hmm. It, that's not uh, important what side do you walk. Okay. But you walk in the street of the uh -huh. outside, I think it's better to try to walk in the right side. Okay, good. It's a question of culture and logic, right? Because it's, it's easy and it's understandable that you have to walk on the right, you know? Some people don't yes. care, of course, but... Yes, it's part of the good manner. Yes, thank you. And to okay. finish, Trini, the last question is for you, Trini. When you are entering an elevator, Trini, what should you do if there are people getting out from the elevator? And... Um wait for them to come up nice simple and logic Trini. thank you it's, it's totally true right but some people shh, come on they they like to enter before everybody comes out right now yeah and salvadorian well the or the manners of salvadorian really special you know when we aboard a bus or a, a mini bus you know microbus when we when in concerts, in the stadium, in commercial centers, in the movies, wherever you go, you know, people are not showing good manners in El Salvador, right? But you can make the difference. The student from Inglés Corporativo can make the difference and then show good manner, right? Very good. Any extra question, a word that you don't understand here or something you want to comment, an extra commentary? No, okay. So for tomorrow, uh, the next topic is going to be men versus women. Cultural custom, right? About that. What is the difference between a man and a woman? Why there are some uh, cultural, some taboos about the difference between men and women, or, and, sorry, men and women. So that is for tomorrow. Now we're going to start with the class of today and we continue, we're going to start today unit three, yes, a new unit, right? A new unit. So to start, Domingo, can you, can you read the objective for tonight, please? Yes, branding, uh, I will be able to state the basic of the branding process for a person or the company. Thank you very much. Sketch is like, to make um, a general view of what is branding, what is the process of branding? Even you're, you're working in a company or you're working individual, right? Nice. So let's start with some vocabulary, right? And um, we're going to practice pronunciation. We're gonna start again with, I'm uh, gonna start with uh, Chamba, please. Chamba, listen, please, and repeat, please. Give me a okay, second. mister. Give me a second. Give me a second here. I'm going to start with this. Okay, ready? Listen. Branding. 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 No, branding. No, Jay Chamber. No, branding. No, branding. Okay, 
maybe chama maybe you can say uh, petrol <laughs> okay again listen and repeat chama branding branding come on repeat mister you can you can hear me you can hear you can hear me yes uh, now yes, yes. Okay. okay branding branding okay good thank you chamba okay yes. mister sorry for the joke <laughs> okay now uh, i need maybe i need branding. branding but for tomorrow today is thursday <laughs> wait for tomorrow right <laughs> okay so nice. wendy please listen and repeat please environment 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 yeah, I, I, I heard very bad, you know. Environment. Uh -huh. Well, anyway, environment. Environment. Good, thank you. Next one, Walter, listen and repeat, please. Brother. 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 Rather, rather. Okay, thank you. And... Uh, Sonia Ibet, are you there, Sonia? Sonia Ibet? Okay, Rosibel, please. Come up with. Come up with. Mm -hmm. Come up with. Come up with. With, with, right? With. Thank with. you. Rosemary? Next one, Rosemary. Listen and repeat. Trend. Trend. Excellent, good pronunciation. Now. Let's continue here. Okay, now uh, we're going to read. We're going to read, right? What is branding? Volunteers, please, who want to read for me, help me. Branding, what's that? Me. Okay, please, go ahead. Branding the promotion of a particular product. Okay. So when you're going to promote a product, you have to give a name to these products. So that is branding, right? Promotion, promotion. Thank you. Environment. Volunteers, raise your hand. Environment. Uh, okay, thank you, Walter. Go ahead. <clears throat> the surroundings or conditions in which a person, animals, or plant lies or operates. Okay, live, right? Lives. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That is that, is, that is an environment, right? In this case, we live in the world. Everything around us is the environment. And uh, when we talk about products, right? Everything that surrounds your product or, or the brand of your product, right? So it is the environment. Rather, what is rather? Who wants to help me, please? Rather, adverb, adverb. Used to indicate one's preference in a particular matter. Thank you. Good pronunciation. For a moment, I thought I was listening to the radio, you know? Good voice. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Now, next one, number four, volunteers, please come up with. Yes, Vanessa? Come up with, press a verb to produce something. Simple like that, you know, to produce something, right? Okay, and the last one, trend. This is not trend, right? Trend. Volunteers, tell me your name. And say, Mariana, teacher. Okay. Now, a general direction in which something is developing or charging a fashion or changing, right? A fashion. Thank you, Mariano. So, it's the trend. For example, today the trend is uh, the trend now is me the bit of you, few, right? <laughs> Everybody is with that one. That's a trend, yeah. That's a trend. And also, what? Uh, football is a trend. Um, what else? 
what else is a trend? Um, you know, the, the, the international crisis, the prices of everything are going up, right? The, uh, how do you say inflation? Inflation, I guess, I'm not sure, sorry. In United States, for example, right? And you know, when, when it happens in the United States, we're going to have the effect in El Salvador, right? So every, everything is very expensive. So that is the trend in this moment, right? In economy, in a general direction, right? So, and you know, in products, for example, that is really important, right? Because you need to know the trend of something to produce a product and, and to, to sell the product, of course, not only producing, but selling, right? And giving a brand for that. For example, uh, if you want to, imagine you want to sell a uh, yogurt, right? Yogurt, few, few. <laughs> it could be a good brand in this moment, you know? Because that's a trend, you know? Okay, good. Let's continue, right? Oh, that's it, right? So we finish. Do you have any extra question about this? Any question about this vocabulary? Teacher, what does it mean surrounding? Surrounding, alrededor. Surrounding. Uh, alrededor. Okay, Lo que nos rodea. Mm -hmm. The surroundings, right? Mm -hmm. Good, thank you. Any other question? Do you understand everything? Because if, if you don't understand, I can tell you in Spanish, don't worry. You know, with an intermediate tree, of course, but of course, I, sometimes we can use a Spanish, right? No problem. Sure, you understand? Because we're going to, every time I put a vocabulary, remember we use these words in context, right? I don't tell you, I don't tell you, but when we are reading, when we are uh, making an exercise, when we're making a presentation, et cetera, et cetera, uh, we use these words in the context, you know? Yes? Have you realized that? ¿Ya se habían dado cuenta de eso? Yes? So for me, it's very important that you understand everything, right? And extra words, you say, tal vez algunas palabras que, que ustedes quieren saber en el contexto, so please tell me, no problem. Here I am for that, right? Uh, we say, right, para eso me pagan, no para ayudarles, eh? I'm here to help, you, right? Okay, good. So let's go to the, to the manual. Let's go to the manual, right? And let's just start over here, here, right? Good. So that's unit number number two, right? Uh, brand number three, sorry, excuse me. Branding, branding, right? And we have this question to begin, right? Let me see. Uh, Aminda, help me, please, Aminda. Why is it important to create a strong brand for a product? Why is it important? I think it's important because it's the first expression of the product of the service. Nice. It may, be, it may be create a loyalty in the customers. My goodness, I mean that you work in the marketing department, no? No, oh, no. So you have good ideas. It's totally true. It's like a person, for example, Aminda, right? Yeah, yeah, in Hospital uh, Maternidad, uh, Primero de Mayo. So and then <laughs> her name is going to be Aminda, say, your father or your mother, or the grandfather, I don't know who. Aminda, right? And all the life, uh, kinder, you know, school, university, right? Aminda, right? You have a name. So, like yeah. a person, right? The products will have a name because the name represents the entity of, of the product, right? So, yeah. like you say, I like the way you say the loyalty. Uh huh. Loyalty. Because, uh, for example, I don't know, macarrones el delicioso, right? Just to say that, right? <laughs> no, no, sorry, el delicioso no, me perdón, suena feo. Mac macarrones, macarrones fama. Es, macarrones gama, right? For example, yes. Macarrones gama. So everybody, when you go to the supermarket, ah, macarrones gama. You know, so, so you're loyal to that product. So that that is important. You give a good, a good uh, uh, brand to, to your product, right? Thank you, thank you, Aminda. Okay. 
Uh, and then Walter, um, do you feel identified with the brand that you represent? You work for McCormick, right, hey, Walter? Yes. Yes, okay, okay. I was yes. trying to remember, yes. Okay, so do you feel identified with McCormick? Yes, of course. Nice. It's important, right? Uh, Listen, when, when, Walter, yes. when I hear McCormick, I think something delicious. Towards yes. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me. You know, right now, uh, uh, our project to, to the future to improve the packaging of product. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the goals is every packaging uh, need to be friendly with the environment. Ah, oh, nice. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, of course, because most products contain plastic or other material that uh, pollute the, the environment, right? So nice, nice. And as I say, right, it's not, I'm sorry if, if your competence is in this group, but for me, when, when I hear McCormick, right, uh, you know, the, the word we use in, in marketing is high-end. High-end is something expensive, but good, right? And of course, McCormick is not very expensive, but it's not, you know, very, very low price, right? But it's because the, the quality of McCormick is good. And what I want to tell you is that yes. if you feel identified with the brand McCormick, right? Uh, the loyalty, like, I mean, the set, right? It goes to the product. And when you keep this in mind, oh, good. Like imagine Walter, Walter is a good soccer player, right? Goal, Walter, go. So every time you see Walter, you associate Walter with a good soccer player, right? So this is the idea of the person. And the same happened with the product. Every time you put McCormick in your food, right? And ah, delicious, right? So you associate a good, a good product, and, and then you put the loyalty in this product. And that, in that way, you buy the product, right? Okay. So we have this conversation. Thank you, Walter. Reed, we have this conversation of Josue and Amy, right? And they're talking about this, right? Branding. Branding. <laughs> okay, Josue says, I, I would like to create a brand for my environment, environment friendly diapers. Uh, what do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from your from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket? Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Okay, now, Repeat after me, please. Microphones off. Ready? Here we go. I would like to create a brand for my environment-friendly diapers. Create brand environment friendly. What do you have in mind? What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you. From you. Rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. Problem. Mm, 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 mm. Problem. 
Don't say problem, problem, problem. People are calling them Joshua's. People are calling them Joshua's. Calling them. But that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with the, any better idea. And I can come up with any better idea. The stress is in can, right? Can come up with any better idea. Come up with. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Okay, now we're going to practice with some vocabulary, right? We're going to practice a different technique. But before I will take the attendance, before we practice with this technique, we're going to take the attendance. Uh, Trini? Present. Aminda? Present. Ana Maria? Carlos William? Present. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe? Thank you. Domingo? Present. Ever? Present teacher. Jose Roberto? Present teacher. Thank you. Carla? Okay, thank you, Carla. Carla Vanessa? Present. Good. Welcome, Carla. Leticia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Welcome. Ya los vamos a hacer participar, ¿verdad? No los había hecho participar porque <laughs> no pensé que estaban por ahí, pero hoy sí. Ok, eh, Mariano. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar. I'm here. Good, thank you, Oscar. Le está fallando otra vez un poquito el internet, ¿verdad, Oscar? Yes. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Ok. Es que cuando se queda calladito, o sea, ah, ya, le está fallando un poquito el, el internet, sí. A mí también a veces de repente pone su internet, está inestable. Yeah, it's normal. Rosemary. Present. Good. Rosibel. Present teacher. Son, thank you. Sonia y Beth. Vanessa Noemi. Present. Good. Walter Omar. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Chamba. Present, mister. Debbie. Present. Good. Welcome, Debbie. Jorge Alfredo. Jorge Alfredo. Okay. Qué lástima que no se conectó a Jorge Alfredo porque ya le resolví el problema en la plataforma. Ya le resolví, sorry, le resolvieron en inglés corporativo, no yo, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Uh, now we're going to practice pronunciation, right? I'm going to start with Trini. Trini, repeat after me, please. Create. Trini, repeat, please. Create. Create. Environment. Environment. What do you have in mind? What do you have in mind? Rather. Rather. Sounds just bad. Sounds just bad. No brand. No brand. A trend. A trend. Thank you. Aminda, please repeat after me. I would like. I would like would 
would. I would like. I would like. What do you have in mind? What do you have in mind? Getting the ones. Getting, getting the ones. People are calling them, sorry, people are calling them. People are calling them. Calling them. Calling them. Come up with. Come up with. Thank you very much. Carlos, please repeat after me. I would like. I would like. Create. Create. Brand. Brand. Environment. Environment. A lot of people. A lot of people. Rather. Rather. Calling them. Calling them. Come up with. Come on with. No. Come up with. Come up with. Okay, good. Trend. Trend. Good. And we finish with uh, Domingo. Repeat after me, Domingo. Would like. Do you like. Would. Good like. Would like. Would like. Environment. Environment. Diapers. Diapers. What do you have in mind? What do you have in mind? Rather. Rather. Calling them. Calling them. Come up with. Come on with. No, no. Come up. Come on with. Wait. You have to, wait. to pronounce with M, right? Come. 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 Come up. Come on. No, no. Up. Like the movie, you know? Up. Remember the movie? La de los globitos, you know? Up. Up. Uh -huh. Or like when you're exercising, you know what I mean? Like up and down. Up and down, you know? Okay, so come up. Come up. Good. Now together, come up. Come up. Okay. Come up with. Come up with. Okay, thank you. Brand. Brand. Good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have uh, Ever and Jose Roberto, right? Ever, you're Jose, Jose Roberto, you are Amy. Okay, Michelle. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. Jose Roberto? Okay, so, um, um, Carla Vanessa, please help me. You're going to be Amy. Okay, teacher. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are putting the teacher. From you. Okay, sorry, sorry, Jose Roberto. Okay, you're going to help me in the next conversation, Jose Roberto. Yes? Okay. Continue. Continue, please, uh, Vanessa. Okay. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is a problem. Hello, People teacher. Hello, hello. Give me a second, Jose Roberto. Okay. Ya lo vamos a hacer participar, yes. Continue, Ever. Okay, I was the, okay. Well, yes, that is a problem. People are calendaring Joshua's, but the sound is bad. And I can come up with a better idea. You Cool, call them, no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Okay, nice. Thank you. Okay, Jose Roberto, you're going to be Josue. Ready? And Leticia, can you help me, Leticia? You're going to be Amy. Yes? Okay, Jose Roberto, ready? One, Hi. two. Uh -huh. Leticia. Everything, 
can you see? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. What did you say, Amy? No, you're going ah, to be Amy. Amy in the conversation, Leticia. Yes? Okay. Good. And Jose Roberto, you're going yes. to be Josue. Josue, yes? Okay. One, okay. one two, three. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. 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 Good. Amy? What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are budging from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any bird. I you call, call them. No brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Thank you very much. Uh, Doodly is going to clap to you. Look. Thank you, Doodly. Okay, now uh, the last two participants, right? Uh, is going to be Rosemary and Oscar. Oscar, you're going to be Josue. Rosemary, Amy, right? Ready? Ready. Okay, go ahead. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is a problem. People are calling the Joshua, but that song just bad. And I can't come come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Thank you very much. Yeah, I like, I like the pronunciation. In general, you know, all, all the members of the group, you pronounce very well. Yeah, I like that. Yes, your previous teacher were very good because your pronunciation is it's very good, right? Well, not only the teacher, but when you listen to music, when you watch movies, et cetera, et cetera, we, we, we make good pronunciation. So congratulations to everybody, right? Now, for the rest, uh, we're going to practice another exercise, but now we're going to uh, to some questions or some questions. He said, look at the conversation again, right? And then answer the sentences below, right? So uh, we're going to do something, right? Number one, just for girls. Number two, for boys. Three girls, four boys, five girls, right? Okay, now question number one. What product is jo Josue, Josue, sorry. Joshua will say, right? Josue uh, selling girls? Diapers. Diapers. But what kind of diapers? Uh, friendly. Friendly? Environmental? Uh, environmental. Uh -huh. Friendly, right? Environmental like. friendly. Wait, wait, okay, give me a second there. Okay, good. Yes. I will give like an 8.7, right? Le ponemos 8.7 las chicas, okay? Now, boys, question number two. What is an appealing characteristic of this product? I will give you a hint. It's connected to question one, eh? Come on, boys. This product is friendly. Friendly with what? With the environment. Okay, good, thank you. Environmentally friendly is the word, right? Environmentally friendly too. That's it, right? Guys, I will give you an eight. Yes? Question three. 
Is the target audience interested in buying the product of Sweat Cells? Girls? Yes. Yes, what? Yes. Yes, they're interested in buying the process product. I'll give you a 10, girls. A 10. Number four, what does Amy suggest? Boys? Carlos is looking for the answers in the basket. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Nice. Okay, come on. The question is, what does Amy suggest? Come on, boys. Don't disappoint me. Yeah, yes. Yeah, no, Brian uh, has become a friend for some products in Japan and Korea. Good, in Japan and Korea. So in other words, the suggestion is that the diapers be named no brand, right? So I will give a 7.5 to the boys. Yes. And number five, girls, have you ever heard of this marketing strategy, no brand? This is a personal question, right? I mean, it's not in the conversation. It's a personal question. Answer. Girls, have you heard of this? Yes or no? No, teacher. No. For me, no. No, I don't. Or... No, I don't. Oh. I will repeat the question. Listen, have you heard? No, I am not. No, I don't. No, I can't. No, I haven't. No, I shouldn't. What is the correct answer? Come on, girls. No, I have. No, I haven't. I haven't. Yes, remember when, when I say, have you? Yes, I have. No, I haven't, right? Okay, I give a nine to the girls in this question, right? Because it's, it's easy, right? Okay, so in my personal opinion, the girls are the winners. So girls, you are the champions. Okay, very good. Any extra question about this? Questions? Okay, Aminda. Questions? No, teacher, sorry. Uh, okay, good. So, uh, if no questions, we're going to continue. Let me see what time is it. Good. Uh, before I forget, I will program the one-to-one the -one class, right? Let me see. Who is in the in the program today? Who is in the agenda, right? Walter Omar. Can you make the one-to-one -one class today, Walter? Yes, teacher. Yes, no problem, right? Okay, you can go late to bed, no problem. Thank you, Walter. I put your name in, in my agenda. That's it, right? Okay, now we're going to, to work with some exercises. Oh, I hear Peter Lice over there. Good. Now let's go to, to one exercise. I want to share something here for you. Second. I'm uh, here. Okay. Just give me a second. Here, right? One, two, three. Okay. Find nine pairs of opposites in this list. Listen, please. Accept, admit, agree, borrow, deny, disagree, dislike. Divorce, enjoy, find, forget, lend, lose, marry, 
suicide is the same, right? Refuse, remember, mm, 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 mm. remember, save, va, 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 save, spend. Please don't say eh, pen, right? No. Spend. Good. Now listen and repeat, please. Repeat after me. Accept. Admit. Agree. Borrow. Deny. Disagree. Dislike. Divorce. Enjoy. Fine. Come on, repeat. Por ahí veo algunas uh, cámaras que no están repitiendo. Come on, repeat. Forget. Lend. Lose. Marry. Refuse. Remember. Save. Spend. Good. Now, I will give the word, and then you're going to give me the apples, right? Good. And uh, can one, two, or three students participate at the same time, right? Creo que con tres micrófonos no nos va a sonar tan... Con dos o tres micrófonos no va a sonar tan... Así que pueden participar los que quieran, right? Ready? This is for the public in general, right? Come on. So we'll say the word and you say the opposite. Ready? Accept. Accept. Deny. Refuse. 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 <laughs> Come on. Eh? Deny. Accept is refuse. The opposite of accept is refuse, right? Okay. Next one. Admit. Deny. 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 Okay. Agree. Disagree. 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 Dislike. No, dislike. Disagree. No, disagree. 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 And remember, when you say agree or disagree is different from Spanish because you say estoy de acuerdo, estoy, right? Or no estoy de acuerdo. But, but in English, it's different. You don't say I am, I am agree. No, no. It's I agree. Or in negative, I don't agree. Okay? Good. Now, next one. Borrow. Enjoy. Enjoy. No. Lend. Lend, correct. Yeah. So, sorry to, to say in Spanish, but borrow is pedir prestado. Yo pido mm. que me den a mí prestado algo, right? And lend is yo doy prestado. Like this, right? Necesito un lápiz y no es mío. ¿Me lo prestas? Ah, okay. Borrow. Yo soy el dueño del lápiz y yo te lo doy a ti. I lend you. Okay? Good. I have a question here. Ah. Oh. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you, Yvette. Thank you. I got it. Eh, me imagino que me mandó un mensaje al WhatsApp, pero no lo he leído, Yvette. Sorry. Pero ya está aquí con nosotros. Bienvenida. Okay. Let's continue. Dislike. Like. Dislike. Dislike, right? Enjoy. Enjoy, correct. Divorce. Marry. 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 Good. Fine. Forget. Loss. 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 Loss is the adjective. Loss. My lost wallet, for example. Mi, mi cartera perdida, my lost wallet. Eh, the lost world, el mundo perdido de los dinosaurios, you know, Jurassic Park, you know, lost world, el mundo perdido, lost. So lost is the adjective and lose is the verb. A loser is the, the noun, right? The noun, loser. Okay, now, let's go to the next one. Forget. Mm -hmm. Remember, save and spend. Spend, very good. Spend. So are you a spender or are you a saver every time you receive your salary? <laughs> okay, good. 
Now let's go to the next exercise. We're going to uh, listen an activity, right? And this activity is very intense. So please pay attention because it's really, really interesting, this exercise. Okay, here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it, right? Good. So problem solved, problem solved. So there is a solution. This is a radio program, right? This is a radio program or a podcast, right? You know what is a podcast, right? It's, it's a, a recording of a program or, or about something, right? That you keep uh, for the public and, and then the public can access to this podcast and you can listen and listen. Uh, for example, uh, in internet, there are many podcasts where you can learn English, right? Yes. Okay, so this is a podcast about uh, some problems that two person here, Ronnie and Becca, they have, they have a problem, right? And uh, sometimes when we have a problem, we react in one way, right? So what is the reaction of Ronnie? What is the reaction of Becca? Becca is a name, right? I don't know the origin of this name, but Becca you know, is a noun. It's a woman, right? Rebecca. Becca. Do you think it from Rebecca? Could be. Yes. 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 <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Okay. And Ronnie is for Rona, maybe, right? Mm -hmm. uh, who knows? But the idea is that this is a boy and this is a girl. So we are going to listen to the program. And first, you're going to tell me the problem of Ronnie. Right? And then we're going to say what the person did. Right? Here we go. Okay. Solution. I'm Cole Williams, and today we have Dr. Jones with us. Thanks for being here, Dr. Jones. Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me. Now, let's get started with our first message. It reads, Dear Problem Solved, I'm a senior in high school and am starting to apply to college. My dad really wants me to study law. He's a lawyer and loves it but I love languages and want to be a language teacher. We got in a huge fight about it. I got really mad and told him he was selfish. Then I slammed the door. Now we're not talking. What should I do? Thanks, Ronnie. Dr. Jones, what advice would you give to Ronnie? Well, Ronnie, I understand your frustration. You know what you want to do and you feel you don't have your father's support but you shouldn't have told him he was selfish and you definitely shouldn't have slammed the door. He's thinking about your future and wants what's best for you. You need to apologize and tell him that you appreciate his opinion, but that studying languages is your passion. If I were you, I would have said that from the start, but don't worry, your dad will understand and eventually let you decide your career. Be patient with him. Patience is always excellent advice. Let's go to the next letter from a listener in New York. Her message reads, Dear Problem Solved. Okay, good. That's it, right? So again, for me, I consider it again, but is that enough for you? Again, right? Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Yes, Mr. Again. Again, again. Yes, it's kind of complicated, but oops. What I did. Okay. Good morning and welcome to Problem Solved. The name of the program is Problem Solved, right? A podcast where we find great solutions to your problems. Life is full of predicaments, but there's always a solution. I'm Cole Williams, and today we have Dr. Jones with us. Thanks for being here, Dr. Jones. Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me. Now, let's get started with our first message. It reads, Dear Problem Solved, I'm a senior in high school and am starting to apply to college. My dad really wants me to study law. He's a lawyer and loves it, but 
but I love languages and want to be a language teacher. We got in a huge fight about it. I got really mad and told him he was selfish. Then I slammed the door. Now we're not talking. What should I do? Thanks, Ronnie. Dr. Jones, what advice would you give to Ronnie? Well, Ronnie, I understand your frustration. You know what you want to do, and you feel you don't have your father's support. But you shouldn't have told him he was selfish, and you definitely shouldn't have slammed the door. He's thinking about your future and wants what's best for you. You need to apologize and tell him that you appreciate his opinion, but that studying languages is your passion. If I were you, I would have said that from the start. But don't worry. Your dad will understand and eventually let you decide your career. Be patient with him. Patience is always excellent advice. Good. So what is the problem? Number one, what is the problem? Volunteers? Her father is not agree. If he, his father doesn't agree with, with, with what, Carla? Carla Vanessa? With what doesn't agree? With, with the career. With the career, right? He wants to study. Uh, Carla, what does Ronnie want to study? Language. Language, right? And his father is a? Liar. Liar. No, come on, liar. <laughs> no, lawyer. I, I I'm a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a lawyer too, you know. It's the but, same, liar and liar. Okay, good. Lawyer and liar is the same, right, Oscar? <laughs> no, but not all lawyers are bad. You know? There are some good lawyers in, in life, right? The only bad people in the world is politicians. <laughs> okay, my comment. Okay, yes. now, and what is what did the person do? Ronnie slammed the door. Slammed, you know, slammed the door, right? That was his reaction. And what did he call his father? Selfish. Selfish. Imagine that's strong. If someone uh, tells you you're selfish, especially what is the meaning? Sorry, Mister. Selfish, egoista, egotistical. Selfish or selfish? Selfish. Selfish, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Selfish, this is egotistical. Egotistical, right? Those, those are, I have a game. You know, when, when I give uh, personal classes, classes in person, I, I like to, to work with, the name of the game is uh, apple to apple, red apples versus red uh, green apples. So in this, we have the words, egotistical is the same that selfish. And naive, you know what is naive? Naive. No naive, no, no it's naive. It's gullible, gullible. You know what is gullible? Gullible is a person that uh, you tell something to the person and the person believes everything, you know? The moon is made of cheese. Oh, really? I didn't know. Okay. Uh, Give me one dollar, I will return the dollar tomorrow. <laughs> That's gullible, right? Or oh, naive. Naive. N A I B E. <laughs> so it's the same word, you know? And there are many words that I like, I love vocabulary, right? So thank you. Now let's go to, to the, to the uh, script, right? And we are going to see the conversation in. With the script, right? Listen to an advice podcast. Complete the chart. Good morning and welcome to Problem Solved, a podcast where we find great solutions to your problems. Life is full of predicaments, but there's always a solution. I'm Cole Williams, and today we have Dr. Jones with us. Thanks for being here, Dr. Jones. Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me. Now, let's get started with our first message. It reads, Dear Problem Solved, I'm a senior in high school and am starting to apply to college. My dad really wants me to study law. He's a lawyer and loves it, but I love languages and want to be a language teacher. We got in a huge fight about it. 
I got really mad and told him he was selfish. Then I slammed the door. Now we're not talking. What should I do? Thanks, Ronnie. Dr. Jones, what advice would you give to Ronnie? Well, Ronnie, I understand your frustration. You know what you want to do, and you feel you don't have your father's support. But you shouldn't have told him he was selfish, and you definitely shouldn't have slammed the door. He's thinking about your future and wants what's best for you. You need to apologize and tell him that you appreciate his opinion, but that studying languages is your passion. If I were you, I would have said that from the start. But don't worry. Your dad will understand and eventually let you decide your career. Be patient with him. Patience is always excellent advice. Let's go to the next letter from a listener in New York. Okay, that's it. Right now, let's go to Becca, right? What is the problem? And what did the person do? So listen. Her message reads, Dear Problem Solved, I have a problem at work. I've been at my company for five years and have always arrived on time and even worked overtime to get the job done right. My boss often congratulates me on my work and I was sure I would get a promotion or raise soon. But I never said anything to him about wanting those things. Then last week, my boss welcomed a new employee. The company created a new position and this new guy is taking it. They gave him his own office, and I know he's making more money. Why didn't they ask me? Now I feel unmotivated and unhappy at work. What should I do? Becca. Becca, thanks for writing in. While there are plenty of things you should do now, let's first look at what you should have done before this new employee arrived. You said your boss always appreciated your work, but maybe you should have been more honest with him about wanting to grow in the company. I would have talked to him and expressed that a long time ago. It's possible he thought that you weren't interested. But don't worry, there are plenty of things you can do now. Why don't you talk to your new co-worker, find out about his education and work history. Look at him as a colleague and someone you can learn from, not as competition. He might suggest a course you could take or have some good advice. And then talk to your boss, but be positive. Let him know how much you like working there and how much you'd like to grow more in the company. He might have some good advice too. And in the end, he will appreciate your honesty and ambition. I think honesty and patience are two good lessons we can learn from today's podcast. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you, Dr. Jones, for being here with us. And listeners, remember, life is full of predicaments, but there's always a solution. I'm Cole Williams, and thank you for joining us today. Don't miss the next episode of our podcast, Problem Solved, next week. Thanks, okay, Ronnie. Good. Your career. Be patient with him. And worked overtime to get the job done right. My boss often congratulates... Give me a second. Um, you must be very pulsudo here. You know? I will understand and eventually let you decide your career. Be patient with him. Patience okay. is always excellent advice. Let's go to the next letter from a listener in New York. Okay, so the listener is in New York, or New York, as you want to say, right? And now listen again for the second time. Pay attention in the problem and the, what the person did, right? Becca. Her message reads, Dear Problem Solved, I have a problem at work. I've been at my company for five years and have always arrived on time and even worked overtime to get the job done right. My boss often congratulates me on my work and I was sure I would get a promotion or raise soon. But I never said anything to him about wanting those things. Then last week, my boss welcomed a new employee. The company created a new position and this new guy is taking it. They gave him his own office, and I know he's making more money. Why didn't they ask me? Now I feel unmotivated and unhappy at work. What should I do? Becca. Becca, thanks for writing in. While there are plenty of things you should do now, let's first look at what you should have done before this new employee arrived. You said your boss always appreciated your work, but maybe you should have been more honest with him about wanting to grow in the company. 
I would have talked to him and expressed that a long time ago. It's possible he thought that you weren't interested. But don't worry, there are plenty of things you can do now. Why don't you talk to your new co-worker, find out about his education and work history. Look at him as a colleague and someone you can learn from, not as competition. He might suggest a course you could take or have some good advice. And then talk to your boss, but be positive. Let him know how much you like working there and how much you'd like to grow more in the company. He might have some good advice too. And in the end, he will appreciate your honesty and ambition. I think honesty and patience are two good lessons we can learn from today's podcast. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you, Dr. Jones, for being here with us. And listeners, remember, life is full of predicaments, but there's always a solution. Good. So one volunteer, please. What is the problem Becca has? Uh -huh, Minda? Um, Becca is not considered to promote for the other position into the company. To be promoted, right? Uh, to, to be, be promoted, yeah. To be promoted, okay. So um, she wants a, a position, but she doesn't have it, right? What else? There is something else. And uh -huh. she she is unhappy with the with the work. Okay, good. But uh, Carlos, please. Who came after Becca? Okay. Uh, the principal problem for Becca, I I think, is she wants to promote her. And mm -hmm. to be promoted, like, like she, I mean to say, huh? yes. and what else? And, and her boss uh, start a new position and hire a new guy. Good, a new, new guy. guy. A new employee, right? Yes. And what this, this guy, this new guy obtained without effort? Well, I don't know, because he's new, uh, right? On the more salary makes more money. A better salary? Probably, huh? And a new what? A new what? New office. A new office, yes. A new office with a big poster of Barcelona, imagine. In the... <laughs> yeah, well, a new office, right? Okay. Uh, that's it. That is the problem. And as you say, I mean, the, and, and, what, and Carlos said, right? He, she's, not, she's not happy with that, of course. Imagine you're working for a long time. You're waiting for something good in your company. And another guy with, you know, <clears throat> okay, comes and take, you know, a new position, a new office, a good salary, a television. <laughs> okay, good. So that's it, right? And now what did Becca do? What did Becca do? Volunteers? She's she's got to be honest with her boss. She wasn't. At, she wasn't. She wasn't honest. Honest. She honest. wasn't honest with honest. her boss, right? With yes. She didn't. She didn't say you know, the, the, she wanted the promotion, right, or or the raise. Okay, that that what she did, you know. She didn't say, you know, I guess life is like that. You know, you are visiting a friend, you know, and on the table, you, you see a big piece of semita, right? Semita mieluda, right? <laughs> and, and you want a coffee with semita, come on, and, but you don't say anything, right? Okay? Or maybe it's a romantic problem. Imagine you in high school, there was that beautiful girl, right? Or for the girls, this handsome boy, you know. But then the guy went, or, or the girl went with another boy, with another girl, and you were like, oh, why? Because you didn't say anything, you know? Uh, like, there is a, an old say that, 
that say that uh, el que no el que no llora no mama it says right talking about uh, you know animals that when they are they are drinking milk from the mother right if they don't say why why would they so the mother doesn't know right so it's necessary that you speak if you want to obtain something right but this is part of the what what the the guess right Dr. Jones right, say about the, uh, what did um, Rebecca or Rebecca, like you say, right, had to do. So we're going to listen again with the script, right? With the script. And later we're going to uh, discuss what Dr. Jones recommend, right? Okay. Dear problem solved, I have a problem at work. I've been at my company for five years and have always arrived on time and even worked overtime to get the job done right. My boss often congratulates me on my work and I was sure I would get a promotion or raise soon. But I never said anything to him about wanting those things. Then last week, my boss welcomed a new employee. The company created a new position and this new guy is taking it. They gave him his own office and I know he's making more money. Why didn't they ask me? Now I feel unmotivated and unhappy at work. What should I do? Becca. Becca, thanks for writing in. While there are plenty of things you should do now, let's first look at what you should have done before this new employee arrived. You said your boss always appreciated your work, but maybe you should have been more honest with him about wanting to grow in the company. I would have talked to him and expressed that a long time ago. It's possible he thought that you weren't interested. But don't worry, there are plenty of things you can do now. Why don't you talk to your new co-worker, find out about his education and work history. Look at him as a colleague and someone you can learn from, not as competition. He might suggest a course you could take or have some good advice. And then talk to your boss, but be positive. Let him know how much you like working there and how much you'd like to grow more in the company. He might have some good advice too. And in the end, he will appreciate your honesty and ambition. I think honesty and patience are two good lessons we can learn from today's podcast. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you, Dr. Jones, for being here with us. And listeners, remember, life is full of predicaments, but there's always a solution. I'm Cole Williams, and thank you for joining us today. Don't miss the next episode of our podcast, Problem Solved, next week. Okay, so what is the suggestion Dr. John gives to, first to Ronnie, right? What is the solution? Volunteers? Or what, what the person should have done? ¿Qué debió haber hecho la persona? That's, that's the, the, the expression, right? Ronnie. No, to the boss. That okay, let's talk about Ronnie work. first. Sorry, sorry, Vanessa. Let's talk about Ronnie first. Remember the situation, right? They, they said his father was selfish. He slammed the door, right? What did the Dr. Jones suggest to Ronnie? Ronnie first. Vanessa? Do you remember? No, no, no. Mm. Maybe, maybe Ronnie uh, got, um, how do you say, Ap um, the pedir disculpas? Apologize. Apologize, mm. apologize with her father. With his father? Uh, with his father, mm -hmm. yeah. That's one thing, right? And one quality he must have. What is the quality? Be patient. Be patient, right? Be patient. Okay. And remember, maybe it's, this happened to you that you wanted to study something, but your parents suggest some other thing, right? So, but you must insist, right, about this to what you want or what Ronnie wanted, right? Good. And what is the suggestion to Becca? Be positive. Be positive. And what else? Another quality? Mm. 
Come on. Uh, I see most of the time Walter, uh, Aminda, Vanessa, but please participate. Don't worry, you made mistake, right? No se preocupen si nos equivocamos. Esa es la idea, ¿no? Equivocarnos para aprender. Así que necesito que todos participen. Vamos a ver, al menos acuérdense de algo que le dijo ella a Beca que hiciera, ¿no? And there is a quality. And there is a song. I will sing the song. Maybe you, you, you get the hint, right? Honesty, just so lonely words. Huh? Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Like, like I said, if you want something, tell how the other person will know that you are in love <laughs> of the other person, you know, if you don't tell. Huh? So that's necessary. Speak. Tell what you want, right? That's it. That's what uh, Dr. Jones told. And what about you? What would you have done in this case? What would you have done? If you were Ronnie, for example, what would you have done? ¿Qué hubiera hecho usted? What would you have done if you were running? Carlos? Mm -hmm. I, I try to say to my father what career I want to study. What, what do you do, Carlos? What is your occupation? I am an engineer. And, oh, it's good. Very good, Carlos. <laughs> so you didn't have any trouble with your parents? With your when I when I choose my career, I have I, I remember I I want to study two careers. Two careers. But that was you and that, that was you, not your parents. I mean can you repeat me? Okay, the, the question is if you were pressured by your parents to study something you didn't want to. No. Yes, I oh, I, really? I want to study psychology. Psychology, okay, but, but wait, oh. sorry, Carlos. Did your parents pressure, push you to study other thing? Your parents, your father and your mother? No. No, really oh, not. Okay. That was your decision, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Psychology, imagine. El super yo. <laughs> okay. But you're an engineer. Okay, nice, yes. Carlos. Thank you. What about Becca? Anybody else? Who wants to participate? What would you have done if someone else, if Acuayudo becomes in the company and receives the better salary and better position than you? What would you have done? Change, change the work. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's a hard decision, right? <laughs> Kill the boss, you know. <laughs> or try, or try to 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 change to the other department into the same company. I... Okay. <laughs> I or or scratch, you know, rayar, scratch the car <laughs> of your boss, right? <laughs> oh come on, yeah. find, find a better job. I'll find a better job. Could be right because if you work very well, okay. Oh, oh yes, there are many solutions, but the 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 real thing is that. Well, I have a, a, a motto, I have a motto, you know, una filosofía. For example, uh, that you most uh, see the best in, in, in people, right? Because uh, everybody has something negative and something positive, right? I have a lot of negative things in my personality, eh? but I also have some positive things, right? So that's what you see in people, right? In all the situations. You must see only positive things in people, right? For example, let's talk about Walter. This is just a supposition, Walter. Uh, Walter is sometimes, uh, it's angry, for example. It's a supposition, Walter. <laughs> okay, he's angry, right? But if I pay attention, oh, Walter is angry, right? So, no, I don't pay attention. To that. I, I pay attention that Walter is cre a creative person, you know? So the same happening. If a new person comes to your work, try to see the person in a positive way, right? And, and look at the positive things of people, right? The same suggestion is for you in your family, right? And be more patient and be honest with your, your family member, right? 
and not only with your family, but in your work, in the office. Please don't be playtisto <laughs> in the office, right? Only try to see the positive things in people. Okay, that's it, class. Thank you very much. So I will stay with, uh, with Walter. But before, before we finish, I don't know if you have any extra question. Do you have any extra question, class? Not teacher. No? Okay. Not yes? Not teacher. No, no, okay, good. So let me see. Um, okay, good. Let's just start. With the tenant, right? Uh, Trini? Trini? Present. Present. Good. Aminda? Present. Ana Maria? Carlos? Present. Claudia Guadalupe? Domingo? Present. Ever? Present. Good. Jose Roberto? Present. Good. Have a good night. Uh, Carla? Uh, sorry? Jose present? Okay. Car Carla Vanessa? Present. Good. Uh, Leticia? Leticia Guadalupe. Mariano. Present teacher. Good. Hoy casi no me participó, Mariano. Come on, usted es bien participativo. Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Okay, yes. teacher. Thank you, thank you, Mariano. Oscar. Good night. Okay, good night. Rosemary. Present teacher. Good. Good thank you, Rosemary. Have a good night. Rosibel. Present. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Night night. Vanessa Noemi. Present. Teacher. Sonia y Beth. Present. Okay, good. Qué bueno que se conectó al fin, Sonia. Have a good night. Uh, Walter Omar. Here. Good. Wait for me, Walter. Wait for me. Wendy. Present. Have a good, good. night. Good night. Eh, Chamba. Present, mister. Good. Have a good night, Chamba. Good night, mister. Debbie? Present. Okay. Have a good night, Debbie. Good night. Okay, good night. Uh, Jorge Alfredo? Jorge? Present, teacher. Ah, good. Welcome, Jorge. Yes. Jorge, este, hablé con Inglés Corporativo y ya le dieron acceso a la plataforma. Ahora me envió un mensaje, teacher. Creo que ah. sí. Va, excelente. Entonces, eh, cualquier duda, por favor, eh, ahí me manda un mensaje, porque, híjole, tiene que, tiene que hacer el examen, la unidad 1, la unidad 2. Ahí. No me Para <risa> ok. <risa> Sorry, Jorge. Okay. Pero así es la cosa. No. ¿verdad? Cual, cualquier cosa, le repito, ahí estamos a sus órdenes. Ok, have a good night. Good night. Good night. Ok, good. Hey, Walter. How are you? Here, teacher, we, we sleep. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry to hear that. Okay, so we're going to make this very fast, right? Uh, listen, do you have any okay. anything or any topic that we uh, you want to discuss? No, nothing. No. Maybe a uh, uh, personal... Uh, uh, very difficult to understand sometimes for me. Okay. Uh, sorry, sometimes the word or, or, or any topic that you want to discuss that is not in the class. I mean, we can discuss any topic that is not in the class. Uh, the uh, specific, the, li the listening part. Ah, the listening. Yes. Good. Uh, did you notice that I have a, a I have practiced a lot listening with the class, right? Yes. Uh, in, in the previous, sorry, uh, Walter, in the previous courses, did you practice listening before? 
Uh, no teacher. No no. Uh, no. no, no. Okay, good. So no. let's discuss. Let's discuss. Uh, on Wednesday, I am sending uh, a video about listening. Uh, uh, last time I sent a video about uh, Abraham Lincoln, I guess. It. But uh, it's an exercise where you, when you watch the video, you listen to the story, and then they make questions about the story. Did you see the, the, these videos that I sent to the WhatsApp group? Yes or no, Walter? No, teacher. I mm -hmm. haven't had the opportunity to, to see it. Okay, so um, do you want me to send some of these videos, Walter? The yes, person? I want. Okay, good. Yes, so, I want. Let me, let me see. send listening videos to Walter. I will send you five videos, five videos about listening, right? And, okay. And... Uh, these videos are made in Singapore, <laughs> so uh, you find some some language that is different than English, right? But but yes, at the end is it's a story, right? You listen the story and 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 then you answer. Good. And another suggestion, Walter, is to improve your listening is to watch movies, right? That's the best way. And music. Uh, yes. Also. Yes, I will... I, I... Uh, tell me, tell me. I, I prefer listening music with the letters. With the lyrics. And with the letters. Today yeah. I send you a song from Queen. Ah, I, I, I find. Good. I uh, find them and the, I try to, to sing. To sing. Uh -huh. uh, Killer Queen is the name of the song from Queen, right? Killer Queen. Okay. Okay. It was, it's a good song. So you can practice. And um, when you go to YouTube, um, you can copy the name of the song and then copy the word lyrics. Lyrics, that means letra de la canción, right? So that way you can improve okay. your listen. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, now I need to make you a question about the exercises we have been make, making, right? Uh, did you find those exercise, exercises sorry, very difficult? Uh, exercises about the platform? Uh -huh. No, no, no. Oh. No, no. The exercises. Oh, that... oh, in general. No, in the class, in, in, in the, in in the, the class. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because those no, exercises. No. I, I don't feel difficult. I, I feel interesting to. to uh, to learn more easy. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, I, I like, I like a lot uh, when you started a class. We, we try to, to may speak everyone. Ah, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, as I repeat, I am interested, Walter, that, that because you say that you have problem with listening, so I am interested in that that you understand and also that you participate in the listening. Uh, I will tell you this about exercises uh, of listening. Uh, we Salvadorian and, and, and people in general, right? Uh, just want to find the answer immediately, right? But no, listening exercises is that you get the information, right? And then you try to process in the moment, no matter how well or bad, you try to do, right? And sometimes you won't understand, but then in the next exercise, it's going to get better, right? Because this is a physical okay. process. Walter, this is a physical process. And uh, your ear must get accustomed to the sounds because these are not a Spanish sound, right? Uh, they are different. For example, uh, this sound, right? Th 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 when you say, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Right? So you have to get, get accustomed. Tiene que acostumbrarse al sonido. So, th, th. Or, or the sound. We need to try in the. We need to try in the, 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 the ear. Uh huh. That's it. Right? It's, it's like when you're playing football, right? 
is the same. I mean, because it's physical, it's not intelligent. You say, I am not intelligent, I don't listen. No, no, it's not a question of intelligence. It's a physical process. Yes. So don't, don't worry about that, right? And okay. uh, I also will send you a, 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 a site in the internet where you okay. can find a lot of exercises of listening. Right? Okay, okay, thank you. Because I cannot say in, in, in the name in the class, right? But I will send you the, the link, right? And okay. I will send you the link of a site where you can practice uh, um, playing with music. Oh, yeah, you know, okay. I will explain what, well, listen, you watch the video and uh, it, down the video, there is the lyric of the song, you know, but the lyric is incomplete. So what you have to yeah. do is, is to complete the lyric, you know, uh, word by word. Complete the, the, the letters lost. Uh-huh. Correct. And the, the game gives you punctuation for that, you know. And oh, the, okay. The sounds, only thing sounds you know, No, it's very interesting. I love this site. Right, I will send you the link too. And uh, it's only about music. This site is only about music. So I will send okay. a, a, a site where you can practice grammar, conversation, uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? And listen. There are many exercises of listening. Also dictation, you know, they dictate it, you have to copy. Really, really interesting, you know? And 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 okay. I know you are very busy, of course, right? But when you have time, Walter, you can make it, right? Good. So, any other question, Walter, or any commentary about the class, or any suggestion that you have for the class? No, I haven't, teacher. Only say thank you. Oh come on, or or, or, or something that you wanted that I make for the class? Any exercise mm -hmm. or? No, I think it's all good. Okay, good. And you say that you like the, the exercise that we make at the beginning, right? And oh, yeah. uh, for example, tomorrow we're going to make this a, a topic about men versus women, right? Yes, yes. yes. I like where, because you take uh, different topics every every class. Nice. If you want me to, to put a topic that you are interested, no problem with that. I can, I can do it, right? I okay. can do it. Yes. And, and thank you to, to participate because you're, you, you're one of the students that participates a lot. And you you're always welcome. have your camera on. Okay. You're welcome. For me, it's very important because I see the reaction of the person, right? And, and yes, of course, I understand. It's I not understand the same. The this part uh -huh. is difficult teach we teach we online for <laughs> it's very different right you uh, i mean talking in front of, of, of the of your computer feel like you're talking to a machine right <laughs> but in fact you're yes. talking to people no, yes no it's the same when you teach uh, in person and and this is your first experience uh, walter with uh, English classes, or you have had other classes before? No, this is first, first experience. It's the first time you are in in, 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 in English, in yes. virtual, right? Virtual classes, they, they are different. Yes. Yes. Okay. So thank you, Walter. So I don't know if you have any extra question. No, I have to jump. You don't have questions. Okay, good. That's it, right? Okay, so God bless you. Have a good night, and 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 I hope you. I can see you tomorrow, right? Uh, sorry, before I finish, you don't have problems in the platform. Everything is okay. No, no, mm -hmm. no I have problem. Excellent, good okay. student. Thank you, thank you, Walter. Okay, thank you, thank you. have a good night. You. Okay, God bless good you. Night.